first Lego League Championship Award ceremony for season two. Uh, we had some technical difficulties. We started right on time and proceeded to stream to a different organization. So it was quite the adventure. Uh, we want to verify that you are able to see us. So if you could respond in the comments with clapping and cheers and your excitement for this upcoming event, we would greatly appreciate that. So this will help tell us, you know, if our streaming is going live and we're in good shape and good to go. So while we work on doing that, I'm going to introduce Chris Osborne, who is one of our MCs for today. And Chris, can you take it from here? Absolutely. Renee, thanks for the introduction. Good evening and welcome to the season two first Lego League Challenge Championship Celebration and Awards Ceremony. First Indiana Robotics is excited to host this event as we honor the hard work and resiliency of our teams. Again, my name is Chris Osborne, the Program Director for First Indiana Robotics. I'll be your MC this evening, along with first alum, Devin Langley. First in the Lego Group partnered to create this program in 1998. First Lego League started that year with 200 teams. This season, more than 320,000 students in over 100 countries are participating around the world. It is exciting to witness the interest and enthusiasm for this program right here in Indiana. We look forward to seeing those numbers grow as more of our students get involved. We also love when younger students engage in robotics and we have many more getting involved in First Lego League Explore, a non-competitive robotics program designed for children's ages six to 10. This program is a great way to introduce students to some of the basic building and coding skills they will use later on in FLL Challenge. This past Saturday, I got to host a remote FLL Explorer Festival to showcase the work that students are doing as a part of the Playmakers Challenge. I would like to take a moment to cheer on those teams that participated in the event. Team 12124, the Blockbusters, who won our Team Model Award. 8256, McJam, who won the Core Values Award. 30 Builder, the Challenge Solution Award. And 19, the Lego Builders, who won the Team Poster Award. We also would like to take a moment and thank our head reviewer, Katie, and our reviewers, Kelsey, Mehek, Ryan, and Shaley. Thank you for making our FLL Explore Festival run so smoothly. Now, I'd like to reintroduce to you the president of First Indiana Robotics, Renee Becker-Blau, who would like to share a few words. Thanks, Chris, I appreciate your time. So this season has certainly been a challenge and it's been unique in terms of the opportunities and the um, solutions and challenges that you've had to overcome and identify and build and create. And so it has been you know, a pleasure to be able to see you as students you know, grow and develop and really and truly embrace the core values of having fun and being able to you know, be inclusive. You know, we split the season in half to try and make sure we were able to impact as many students as possible. We also you know, truly embrace the uh, you know, core value of teamwork. And we saw that play out as teams identified different ways to engage with each other in a virtual environment. So we can recognize um, the, the season that you had was not necessarily a normal season, uh, but you and our first students and alumni, you have persevered and have done an excellent job at uh, working through and you know building this season. I hope that you, know, you can find the silver lining that's come through this past year. And I hope that you enjoyed the opportunity and the experiences that you had while interacting with our volunteers and our hardworking tournament directors as well. In addition, special thanks you to the coaches and mentors um, for being tenacious in your um, dedication to this first program and your students and the work that you've done to continue making sure that kids have access you know, to the first Lego League Challenge teams that you've participated with this season. This past year, First Indiana Robotics became the partner for First Lego League. 
Um, it was truly an exciting you know, moment in the organization's time frame and life, but we also recognize the hard work and long-term growth associated with the work that Purdue University Fort Wayne and Carol Dostel have done over the years, along with the team of volunteers who have continued to support the program as well. Um, we look forward to continuing to expand the FIRST program in the future and working with all of you to truly be advocates of the FIRST program uh, and continue in FIRST either on FTC or FRC teams or come back as a Lego League student the next year. Um, or if you come back as a volunteer and as you graduate, you know, stay involved in the program because, you know, we care about you versus like a family. And there's really, truly no exit strategy, like they always say. So congratulations on all of your hard work this season. And I'd also like to take this moment uh, to thank our sponsors for the, whoop, uh, for all of the work that they uh, you know, have provided in the sport that they've given over the years from Corteva, AgroScience, our Iconic Foundation, Toyota, and, you know, first in Indiana Robotics, the South Eastern Team Support Grant. All of these different pieces have really helped us ensure that we can have a season this year. So thank you to our local sponsors for your support of the program. And at this time, I would like to introduce you to Devin Langley, um, who will share a little bit of background information about this year's exciting replay season for family and friends tuning in tonight to cheer on our teams. Thanks Renee and hello everyone. So this season teams stepped into the world of sports, play and fitness, exploring the many ways we can stay active and fit in our communities. And they designed innovative solutions to ensure that our games and activities are fun and accessible for everyone involved. That means that since the challenge was released last August, teams have been hard at work, identifying problems, developing solutions, sharing ideas with experts, strategizing about robot game missions, and building and testing their robots to tackle all sorts of tasks on the playing field. And teams do all this while embracing the first core values that act as our guide and help us discover more about ourselves, our teammates, and the world in which we live. That's right, Devin. The Robot Game and Innovation Project may be what we do, but it is the first core values that support how we do what we do during the season and beyond. So when things get tough, don't forget about gracious professionalism. It means competing like crazy against the clock, but treating each other with respect. We all have more fun, team, coaches, parents, and volunteers, when we treat each other with gracious professionalism. Now, I'm pleased to introduce a special guest to share a few words with you. Dr. Paul Talaga is an engineering professor from the University of Indianapolis and he generously shared his time with us on Saturday to serve as a core values judge. Welcome, Dr. Talaga. Thank you, Chris. So hi, my name is Dr. Paul Talaga, and I'm an associate professor in the RB in a School of Engineering at the University of Indianapolis. Many of you have already met me during the judging last weekend, or you might've met my other three faculty judges on Saturday. All of us are very proud to help support First Ind Indiana for many years. I, as well as all the other faculty members who helped, were amazed at what you have done this year. This has definitely been a difficult year for all of us, with some of us teaching in our basements and you transitioning to online learning, but slowly we're returning to normal. Through all of this, your teams have continued to communicate, brainstorm, design, test, and build uh, complete, completely all while navigating drastic changes in our daily lives. As you've probably found out, participating in FIRST Robotics is a lot more than just building a robot. It's about solving problems, discovering new skills, creating new things, communicating with others, and of all working as a team. And from your videos, it's also clear you had a lot of fun doing it. Our own philosophy in the RBN School of Engineering matches what you've been doing perfectly. The judging criteria we use for, our, for your projects last weekend is very similar to what we use at the college level to judge our own students every single year. While our students might take on more complex projects from the community and industry, the same core values, innovation, and solution are taught, stressed, and evaluated. 
While you may wonder why our values match first, this similarly likely has a common source. These are traits employers have found to be the most important to be successful and also to solving problems in and out of any job. So you, while you might be building Lego robots and eventually larger robots, you are learning and participating on learning valuable skills. It takes a team and you've shown all of us what you can do when you work together. So keep discovering new skills, creating new things, cherish the friends you make along the way and keep building awesome robots. If you have any questions about engineering, UND, building crazy robots, <laughs> um, or the RB in a School of Engineering, please reach out and we'd be happy to help. Thank you, Dr. Talega, for those encouraging words that I know will inspire and motivate our, our teams as they continue on their journey. We appreciate your involvement this season. Due to the challenges that the COVID pandemic placed on our first community across the state, the replay season was divided into two parts to better accommodate our FLL challenge teams. Season one qualifying ter qualifying tournaments took place in November with a championship that followed in December. At the end of January, we held three season two qualifying tournaments followed by the championship last weekend. We want to take this opportunity to acknowledge all the teams across Indiana who accepted the challenge, persevered, and competed in one of the remote events for the replay season. Congratulations, teams, and we look forward to seeing you all next year. We certainly had a long and impressive list of teams competing this year. Now we would like to announce the teams that advanced to our season two championship. So from the Gears Ethos Qualifier, Team 24976, Unshakable, 18067, The Holy Legos, Team 7320, Datasim, 47363, The Chompers, 7706, Wawa C1, Team 32128, Circuit Breaker Dance Bots. Team 24735, The Game Givers, and Team 9456, The Bobcat Bots. And from the Indy South Qualifier, we have Team 19392, CSA Lincoln Robo Huskies. Team 44949, The Robo Tillers. Team 21389, the Pirates. Team 37... 446, the block bots. Team 24772, OLMC Raider Activators. Team 39473, Unpause. Team 50922, the Nano Newtons. And finally, Team 44950, Steamrollers. And finally, from the NCI E3 Robotic Center Qualifier, we had Team 776. Bach Etz, Team 31271, Rocket Socket Circuit Trio, Team 4546, The Fab Five, 24428, Combination, Team 24984, CKS, 47546, The Granger Gurus, Team 3864, The Bulldog Builders, and finally, Team 31053, Robo Force. No tournament can happen without the support, time, and commitment from our volunteers. Through their example and service, FIRST volunteers empower students to be future change makers. We wish to extend a big thank you to our team of 15 judges, led by Andrea Pluckabom who decided, who dedicated so much of their time to make this event possible. We also would like to give our sincere thanks to our team of 12 referees, led by head referee Shane Pickett, for putting in so many hours to review and score your matches. We appreciate your time and your dedication to the First Lego League Challenge program. Our volunteers truly are awesome. Hey, Devin, why don't we start handing out some awards? 
Of course. Well, in Indiana, we are extremely fortunate to have so many amazing volunteers who return year after year to support our teams. Tonight, we want to honor two of our volunteers with the very first awards of the night, the Outstanding Championship Volunteer Awards. At every tournament, there are those individuals who are just the go-to people, the ones you can count on to step up and help out whenever there is a need. The ones who are always say, who just always say yes and make the impossible happen. These are two such people. The Astounding Championship Volunteer Award goes to Andrea Puckabaum and Shane Pickett. Andrea graciously stepped into the role of Senior Judge Advisor for the Season 2 Championship. A longtime First Lake League Judge Advisor at Purdue Qualifying Tournaments, Andrea's support and training of the judges ensured we had a very smooth event. And Shane was our head referee for both the Season 1 and Season 2 Championships as he recruited, trained, and oversaw the referees who scored all of the exciting robot game action. Andrea and Shane, we admire your dedication to this program. Your involvement allowed us to deliver a successful championship experience to our teams. And for that, we are truly, truly so grateful. All right, well now I would like to present the Coach Mentor Award. Coaches and mentors inspire their teams to do their best, both as individuals and together. This award goes to the coach or mentor whose leadership and guidance is clearly evident and best exemplifies the first core values. The coach mentor award goes to Shashil Singh from team 39473. Here is what team Unpause had to say about their very special coach. Our coach, Sushil Singh, always encourages us to do our best. This season was especially challenging for our team as several parts of our robot broke, a team member got infected with COVID-19, limited team members because of COVID-19 and bad weather. Through all these challenges, our coach constantly kept us moving through. He inspired us to take every opportunity to, further, as, to be furthest as we could. As a team that qualified for the next competition, we knew this unity. Our team embraced it. Our coach has been coaching for First Lego League since 2018. He has grown a lot in his coaching skills, and I have seen it. He always pushes us to problem solve and approach missions and challenges at different and unique angles to get the best results. He puts a lot of time in for the team to succeed and provides us with the utmost hospitality. He has helped me grow so much as a person, and whenever we are confused on how to code, our coach carefully explains the code in a way we could understand. He is the best coach I have ever had. Our coach is truly inspirational and makes sure we all enjoy what we do in robotics. I have a lot to owe my coach, Shushil Singh. He has helped me grow on all core values, and he is very enthusiastic during every meet. When we are in a tough spot with what to do, he always makes us smile and encourages us, us to try our hardest, even if our hardest isn't enough to move on. He taught us how to be proud of ourselves. Our coach took us in and taught us all he knew. His home became my second home. He helped us build better connections with our team members as we progressed throughout the season. And I am so grateful for him. Thank you so much for those kind words, Team Unpause, and congratulations, Shashil Singh. Yes, that was just such a nice message from the team about their fantastic coach. Um, and also thank you to all of our coaches, mentors, and volunteers who dedicate so much time to help inspire our youth. All right, well now I am pleased to introduce Lori Langley, first senior mentor to announce the season one and two Global Innovation Award nominees and finalists. 
Thank you. It's great to be part of today's celebration to honor our hardworking and truly inspiring Indiana teams. The Global Innovation Award encourages students to think like innovators and it honors the work they are doing on their innovative solutions to this year's replay theme. In June 2021, during the first Global Innovation Awards, the first community will celebrate the next generation of innovators who will change the future. This year, Indiana has the opportunity to choose one team to be the Global Innovation Award nominee from our state. And that team will compete with other teams from around the world. So in order to find the team with the most innovative solution, each of our qualifying tournaments from season one and season two selected a team that judges determined had the most innovative solution at their event. From seasons one and two, the nominees are from the IU Northwest qualifier, team 9453, the baby penguins. From the Purdue qualifier, team 46176, the purple pairs. And from the University of Southern Indiana qualifier, team 4882, rock spots. From the Gears Ethos Qualifier, Team 24976, Unshakable. From the Indy South Qualifier, Team 44949, Robotillers. And from the NCI E3 Robotics Center Qualifier, Team 24984, CKS. At this time, I want to thank our Global Innovation Award head judge, Dr. Jeffrey Nowak, and his panel of four judges who evaluated these teams and their innovative solutions to select three finalists. The finalist teams are Team 24984 CKS. Team 44949, Robo Tillers. And Team 24976, Unshakable. Congratulations, teams, and good luck as you move on to the next level of competition later this month. We can't wait to learn who will be chosen as the Indiana nominee. Congratulations teams, how exciting. So now I would like to introduce Monica Bravo to announce our next set of awards. Monica? Thank you, Devin. As a teacher, I want to personally congratulate you all on the perseverance you have shown by successfully completing this year's competition season. I am honored to present these awards to you today. The first award I will be announcing this evening is the Motivate Award. The Motivate Award celebrates a team that embraces the culture of First Lego League through team building, team spirit, and displayed enthusiasm. This team's positive attitude really lifted the judges' spirits. Not even land sharks could stop them from reaching their goals. Congratulations, FLL Team 47363, the Chompers. The next award is the Core Values Award. This award celebrates a team that displays extraordinary enthusiasm and spirit, knows they can accomplish more together than they can as individuals, and shows each other and other teams respect at all times. The second place Core Value Award goes to FLL Team 24976, Unshakable. And for the first place Core Values Award, this team went above and beyond to implement their, their project. The judges would love to give them props for inter-team mentoring. Hats off 
to your captain and crew, FLL Team 24735, Game Givers. Congratulations, teams. Now, I would like to introduce Betsy Baxter, who will announce the next set of awards. Thank you. Hello, teams. I'm Betsy Baxter, the event planner for mechanical engineering at Purdue University. I hope you had a great season. It was so exciting to have the opportunity to see the results of all your hard work. The award I'll be announcing this evening is the Innovative Project Award. These teams utilize diverse resources for their project to help them gain a comprehensive understanding of the problem they identified, developed a creative, well-researched solution, and effectively communicated their findings to judges and the community. The second place Innovative Project Award goes to FLL 39473, unpause. For the first place Innovative Project Award, this team is taking sports to a whole new level. Microchips, Bluetooth, and wireless charging. This team is truly fabulous. Congratulations, FLL 40546, the Fab Five. Congratulations to the winning teams. Now I would like to introduce Nikhil Bajaj to announce our Robot Design and Robot Performance Awards. Thank you. I'm Nikhil Bajaj, an assistant professor at the University of Pittsburgh in the Department of Mechanical Engineering and Material Science. It's really exciting to be here with you uh, virtually today. Based on all the hard work and great thinking you've done this season, our robot design judges had a lot of tough decisions to make. The first award I'll be announcing is the Robot Design Award. This team used outstanding programming principles and solid engineering practices to develop a robot that is mechanically sound, durable, efficient, and highly capable of performing challenge missions. The second place Robot Design Award goes to FLL 47546, the Granger Gurus. For the first place Robot Design Award, this team has shown vast amounts of strategic ability with how their robot was designed. Their attention to detail and design detail in particular is exemplified in their colorful approach to program selection. They are a robotic force of nature. The Robot Design Award goes to FLL 31053, RoboForce. Next up is the Robot Performance Award. This award celebrates a team that scores the most points during the robot game. Teams have a chance to compete in at least three two and a half minute matches and their highest score counts. The second place Robot Performance Award goes to FLL 24976, Unshakable. The first place Robot Performance Award with a high score of 425 points goes to FLL 7320, Datasim. Congratulations to all those teams. And thank you presenters for helping us out this evening. Before we announce our final awards, let's take a quick moment to acknowledge those, acknowledge those teams who competed for the last time. Please cheer from home if you are aging out of First Lego League at the end of this season. Woo, I'll give you a round of applause. Congratulations. We hope to see you all at a First Tech Challenge or First Robotics competition next year. As you should know, 
millions of dollars in scholarship funds are available to First Tech Challenge and First Robotics competition participants every year. Now, let's go back to First Indiana Robotics President Renee Becker-Blau to announce our Champions Award. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate the introduction. So before we get started with our final awards, we'd like to take this moment to announce the First Indiana Robotics Foundation Award. This award is given to an individual or group who has been instrumental in shaping the direction of our organization. The support has provided FIN the foundation needed to fulfill our mission and bring first to more students in Indiana. Without these people, individuals, and organizations, First Indiana Robotics would not be the organization we are today. So one of the most important parts of you know, the FIRST program and one of the unique aspects of the FIRST program are all of our long-term volunteers partners, and coaches. The First Indiana Robotics Foundation Award this year will be going to Carol Dostel, the Director of Outreach at Purdue University, Fort Wayne. Carol, thank you so much for all of your support over the, the past you know, 18, 20 years that you've been involved in the First Lego League program. First Lego League in Indiana would not be the same without your leadership and support. I know you consistently say when we um, you know, provide compliments, you point to your team of, of staff and individuals, and that is one of the leadership qualities that I have appreciated uh, from you over the past few years. And so we wanted to take this time to make sure that you were recognized for the foundation that you have brought to Indiana and how you have recognized um, and supported and inspired the students in our region. Thank you so much for all of your hard work. We are excited to have you uh, participating as and continuing to participate in the program as an advisor um, so that you can help us as we move into these this next role as the program delivery partner. So please, everyone, give a round of applause for Carol Dostel. And now, the Champions Award celebrates a team that embodies the first Lake League Challenge experience by fully embracing our core values while achieving excellence and innovation in robot performance, robot design, and the innovation project. The second place Champions Award goes to There we go. All right. Uh, the second place champions award goes to FLL team 19392, the CSA Lincoln Robo Huskies. Now for our first place champions award. This in the, here's what the judges had to say. This enthusiastic team really inspired the judges to move. Their creativity not only captured the spirit of the team, but they love the love they have for their community. Their physical additions to existing games rocked. This award will look great on the shelf next to Candyland. Congratulations, Team 7320 Dynacam. 
So congratulations teams. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in and listening to you know our award ceremony. We know that this season uh, wasn't quite the season we were expecting to have this year, um, but we appreciate all of the support uh, from our coaches to the volunteers to you know, program staff and, you know, even our, you know, AmeriCorps Vista, Matt, who helped really pull all of these various pieces together. So thank you everyone for your generous support. And Chris, I'm going to turn it over to you. Or Devin, I'm going to just give it, <laughs> turn it back to you. <laughs> Thanks, Renee. But yes, I just want to say congratulations again to all the teams who competed this year. We are so glad you had the chance to either start, continue, or wrap up your first LEGO League Challenge experience. We know this was a difficult season, and we admire your effort to work together as a team in whatever way you could. Please remember, you are a part of the first Indiana Robotics community, the Finn Fam, and we hope you will stay connected with us through social media. Be sure to link us on your team posts by using the hashtag FinFam so we can follow on your journey. All right. Well, thank you so much, Devin, everyone else this evening for participating. Congratulations, teams, uh, for uh, all that you accomplished this year. The recording of this ceremony will be uh, located on our YouTube channel. Uh, the link is on the slide. And we will also post links on our social media at First in Robotics. So finally, thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe. And we look forward to seeing you participate in the FIRST programs next year.